All right, this is Shalom, and you know, I didn't record anything yesterday. Yesterday was a um, quite a hectic day, if you will, but it was a great day, and there's a lot of things I started reflecting on from yesterday. Um, so, you know, I often talk about being a black immigrant. Uh, I talk about my journey, my experiences, and, <clears throat> you know, as a black immigrant, particularly from northern Nigeria, you know, I often harp on that because there, there are very unique distinctions and differences. You know, um, northern and southern Nigerian cultures are different. And so our experiences uh, of Nigeria are different. Our cultural experiences, our food experiences, those are those are different. And so I share from my unique perspective and my unique uh, <clears throat> my experience um, being a northern Nigerian immigrant to the United States and the adaptations and different things, different aspects of it. So um, I did yesterday uh, get the opportunity to catch up with uh, another northern Nigerian immigrant who I respect and we hadn't caught up in a while but but we did and you know it only reinforced and kind of emphasized um some of the things i discuss and some of those you know particular differences that we do have um as these immigrants there's a very small percentage and and group of us so it's it's nice when you talk to somebody and they have similar experiences that kind of um, are even different from other Nigerian immigrant experiences. So anyways, with that, um, <clears throat> it, it, it was encouraging and it uh, was encouraging in the sense that, you know, um, sharing your story is important because your story is unique, your story is different. And I, I have hesitated for a very long time to share some of my experiences. And that's because I, I was struggling with finding myself, period, you know, like I talk about with identity and finding who you are all over again. Like I talk about moving to America and wanting to get acclimated into the society as quickly as possible. So, you know. I found different ways to adapt with my accent, with my clothing, you know, with, with friends and, you know, you, you lose the essence of who you are through that process. And for me, it took, took a long time to sort of regroup and get back to an understanding of who I am. And like I say, you know, it's important to find your purpose because everyone has a unique purpose in life and part of your purpose is in your story so you know um reflect on your story on your journey and it'll give you hints and insight into what your purpose is but for me i you know um obviously i've been sharing some of my stories with you guys and um you know, that's in hopes that it may enlighten some people and help, however that may, through my failures and successes. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully it helps somebody else out there. Because um, in talking with other people who are similar to me, I realize, you know, the, the, the only thing is that we don't, we don't talk to each other, we don't share. <clears throat> and so, yeah. It's important to just share your story, your experience. Um, obviously, not everybody's comfortable with that, but that's okay. Again, going back to to purpose, it's not it's not in everybody. It's not everybody's lane to do, you know. Um, but for those that it is, then then do that. You know, some of us have some very powerful stories that need to be told. You know. So, anyways. The message today is, uh, you know, tell your story, live your truth, live your life, um, live your purpose. Most importantly, live your purpose. 
And like I say, you know, it takes patience, um, live with passion, and be persistent. One of the best quotes I ever heard was live full, die empty. And so whoever got it from, you know, thank you. Um, but yeah, live full, die empty. And the way you can live full and die empty is by finding your purpose in life and living that. And, you know, I can say from my personal experience, I, you know, it's just, it's just been a part of my story and my journey has been the struggle of identity <clears throat> but also the part of that story is is the process of rediscovering who you are you know and realigning yourself and again that goes back to finding your purpose so that's it this is shalom from dreams and ambition um if you guys like the gear i love the way the shirt came out Leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, visit the website, dreamsandambition.org. You can get all the content and gear and anything else on there. And all content will be released on Wednesdays, Wakanda Wednesday, every Wednesday. So subscribe, leave me some comments. I do want feedback and... Let's do it.